Hey, Chris here at Wahoo Fitness. You've got your brand new kicker and now you need to set it up. Right out of the box, you'll have your power cord, your power brick, your Wahoo RPM cadence sensor, disc brake pad spacer to keep from your pads pinching together if you accidentally squeeze the lever, a 1.8 millimeter cassette spacer if you decide to change to a nine speed or 10 speed cassette, and through axle adapters for 12, for 12 by 142 or 12 by 148. You're going to start by opening the legs of the kicker by pressing in on the blue button and pushing outward until you hear the click. Do this on both sides so that you can access the center knob to adjust the kicker to your wheel height. Next, loosen this knob on the center arm and lifting upward on the kicker, on the main part of the kicker, to line it up with the appropriate wheel size. Once you've lined it up with your appropriate wheel size, put the knob back through and screw it down. If it feels tight or if you feel like it's binding, stop and back up because there's a good chance that you're cross-threading the blue arm. Out of the box, your kicker will come with a skewer already installed and the axle spacing set up to 130 millimeters. 130 millimeters is the most common axle spacing for open dropout road bikes. If you need to adapt it to a wider 135 millimeter spacing, you'll need to remove the skewer and flip the non-drive axle adapter around to accommodate the wider spacing. Once it's reinstalled, slide the skewer back through and your bike is ready to mount. If your bike has a 12 by 142 or 12 by 148 through axle, then you'll need to remove the existing hardware from the kicker axle and install the adapter kit that's provided with it. If you have a previous generation kicker, please reference the link below to access that information on how to install it as well as where to purchase it. First, remove the skewer. For the latest model kicker, there will be an additional spacer on the drive side pull out the non-drive spacer as well. And leaving it on the skewer so that it all stays together. The smallest side fits over the drive side axle. The non-drive side piece will need to be oriented correctly depending on whether you have 142 or 148 mil spacing. If you have 142 millimeter spacing, the numbers 142 need to be facing outward. If you have 140 mil 48 millimeter spacing or boost spacing, the numbers 148 will need to be facing outward. 